What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So again, we are here in Laredo. We just arrived, but again, so we arrived here like 20 minutes after the appointment time and uh, they don't want to unload me again. Um, I'm starting to, to see that from now on, instead of leaving three hours um, in advance, I'm going to start leaving like four hours or five hours, even if I have to wait to get unloaded. I mean, I'm still waiting anyways, but every time I leave with about an hour and a half to spare, I, it, I don't, I don't know, man. So I got pulled into the scale, um, which I didn't lose that much time. I mean, it was probably like, I don't know, maybe like five minutes. I had to, so I got pulled in and then I had to go into the other lane and um, they just checked my paper and that's it. But I mean, it didn't take too long. It was like probably like five minutes if that, I think. And then traffic again. I ended up getting here like 20 minutes after the, the appointment time. So they told me that I was going to have to email them or something like that. Call the broker, which I mean, I don't have the number for the broker, but I got with dispatch already. Uh, they said that they had another morning guy do the same thing earlier. And he literally just left right now. He was here since eight. It's already, I think it's like 1130 right now or something like that. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, they're going to email them, see if they let me in. They said, if not. I'm gonna have to wait till four. Maybe they can unload me at four. So I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I haven't ate breakfast yet for that reason, because I want to leave earlier, just in case anything. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess it didn't work. For now, it's good to eat, and I'll see you guys whenever they give me a door. As y'all saw, we got a door. Finally, it's uh, I guess somebody somebody missed their three o'clock appointment, and um, they actually put me in for them, so I didn't have to wait till four. Still, still had to wait quite a bit, about four hours. But I mean, oh well, oh well, man. But I think uh, we're gonna be able to pick up something. I think it's already ready. I just hope they're open like 24/7 or at least like they close till later. Um, cause yeah, I don't know how long I can feel them already unloading me. I don't know how long they're gonna take though. So hopefully it's not too long. We can be out of here, pick up our next load that's going to Fort Worth, Texas, and um, deliver it tomorrow. So yes, sir. All right, guys. So we are in a different place. So we left the last uh, spot where we were getting unloaded, and then we came to. We've been here, I think like a week ago or something like that, a week and a half ago. Um, so we're, we're getting a load going to Fort Worth. Um, and uh, man, I've been here since 5.30, no, 5.09 I got here. It's already, I think I'm about to be nine in the, uh, 9 p.m. So yeah, we've been here a while, but we finally got our paperwork and uh, we're about to get out of here.
guys, good morning. So it's the next. What the? Jesus Christ. All right, so it's the next day. We actually made it here to um, to San Antonio. So the reason why I still had some hours left, I believe, it said like three hours, I think, There's two hours. Um, I clicked the the will pair sleeper berth or whatever, like some of y'all told me down below in the comments, uh, like two videos ago or something like that. I tried it out. It seemed to work. I hope I did it right. Attention. Um, a new important message has arrived. Okay. Attention. Jesus Amy. Christ. All right. So, like I was saying, um, I think I did it right. I still have some time left when I got here to San Antonio, but I had to stop because my wife was going to give me some... Uh, some meal preps. So, yeah. I had to stop here just to pick that up. But it was already like midnight, I think. It was about to be 1 in the morning, I believe. Um, so... No, it was actually, yeah, it was it was midnight. It was like 12, 12 when I stopped. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay here because first, I can't stay at the receiver. They don't let me stay overnight. And second, I'm probably not going to find any parking at that time. Maybe I can get lucky and find something. I can definitely uh, park on the, on the off ramps, but I don't want to do that if I don't have to. So mm -hmm. I just... Attention, a new important... So I just decided to stay here and head out in the morning. Either way, I wasn't gonna make it on time to put this load on the same check. It has to be before 2.30, I believe. And um, yeah, I was gonna get there like, well, I'm supposed to get there like right at 2, 2.15, something like that. That's without traffic, with actually being able to go the speed limit, not just 65. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get there on time. So yeah, start our pre-trip and uh, get out of here. Yeah. One more thing. I was gonna record it, but I was like kind of scared that I was, we weren't gonna be able to do it. So my wife actually, well, I mean, okay. So I only have one key for the truck. They only gave me one key. And um, I accidentally put in the key and closed the door when this thing was down. And uh, yeah, I like the keys. <laughs> I like the keys in here. But one thing about this truck is it doesn't have the buttons to unlock. So I couldn't put, I tried to put something in to pick this up. Like a freaking um, thing of wire. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's a gancho in Spanish. Um, but I couldn't do it. And uh, yeah, I mean, we couldn't click any button here because it doesn't have any. That's just for... Um, the defroster thing on the mirror man i need to clean the window um but yeah we didn't know what to do my wife came up with the idea of tying some shoelaces she tied some shoelaces with a little loop right here <laughs> and uh yeah she was able to get it how um so from the outside she went from the top here, let me see if I can. So she she got the shoelace like that. She brought it in from the top, and then she started scooting it down all the way down until the little loop got to um got to the thing right there. I can see it right there. She was able to. She managed to get it like stuck to it, like something like that. And then, boom, just picked it up. <laughs> I don't know how the hell she did it, but, I mean, she did it. I was kind of freaking out. I was like, damn, I'm probably going to get in trouble for being a freaking dumbass and leaving the keys in here, but she saved my butt. <laughs> so, shout out to my wife for that. Uh, but, yeah, I guess I just want to... I should have recorded it, honestly, but I was too freaking... Man, but... Anyways, we got our hours back, so let's have the pre-trip and uh, get today started. Alright guys, 
so I couldn't hold it no more. I had to pull over and um, heat up some food because I was freaking, I was freaking hungry. But yeah, we got some food in there real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what we got for um, this week's menu. Here it is. Let's see how it's looking. It smells good as heck. Oh yeah. That's not eggs. That's um, mashed potatoes with egg, I think. I don't know, but it's freaking good. Some Mexican rice. And I think, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it was like Wagyu or something like that. I don't know if I'm mentioning it right, but oh man, let's uh, let's eat real quick. Oh, wow, wow. So, guys, I know it's been a while. Well, for me, it's been a while since I've uh, recorded anything. I think the last thing that y'all saw was me getting uh, the other trailer, picking up um, or dropping off the loaded trailer and picking up the empty one. So, we left from there going to pick up um, another load that was going to Houston. But when I was about to leave, they called me saying that... Um, they weren't gonna be able to load me up, so they were gonna give me something else. So I got another load. What is this guy doing? Man? I don't know. All right, well, I got another load. Um, it was like a local run. It was a local run, and um, I don't know why this frick this guy is honking. I've had it. I've had it with today. Oh my god. I'm trying to stay cool but anyways we had a, a local run um i came to pick it up and supposedly it's not supposed to be picked up until like six days from now so yeah man i don't know uh i called them they're gonna call the customer service something like that see what they, what's gonna happen uh most likely i'm not even gonna load up i do have another load that is uh picking up tomorrow Somewhere here in Texas, I don't know what little town it is. Heading back down to Laredo. I think unloading and picking up another one in Laredo. It's like a multiple stop load, I don't know. But that's what we're doing tomorrow. But for today, honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen. Most likely I'm just gonna go call it a day and um, just chill out, I guess. I'll probably just go stay, I don't know. Honestly, I'll stay anywhere. I have food, so. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully, they can get back to me here pretty soon, and uh, we can get out of here. Because I don't think I'm going to get loaded up. So, Man, that's trucking, all right. But I'm just trying to stay cool and uh, see what happens. So let's, uh, let's go lay down for a little bit. All right, guys. So it's the next morning. Um, not too sure if I mentioned where we were at last clip. I think I did. We're going to go right now. I just finished my pre-trip. I'm going to go. And pick up this next load which is i think like a three stop load i mean i haven't had one like that yet but i know that we get paid extra for those i think it's like an extra 25 or something like that per stop um so that's not bad plus if i if i end up waiting to get unloaded or whatever i get paid for that as well um but yes so we're gonna go pick up here in like i think it's like 40 minutes away 36 minutes away um and this one is going to Laredo. It's two stops in Laredo. So pick up here somewhere in Dallas. Go, go back down to Laredo. And two stops in Laredo. So, yep. We'll see how it goes. But let's, um, let's get on the road and pick this thing up. Oh, 
my god my load ended up not being ready it said on the where they sent it to me it said it was gonna be ready till 12. i asked them just to make sure it was gonna it was gonna be ready earlier or if it was if it was um yeah if it was gonna be ready earlier but they told me yes to head this way i didn't want to start my clock yet that's why i asked and it's not ready so they told me that it was gonna be ready but it's not ready so now we have to wait till 12. it's uh i think it's like 10 right now so oh man i mean at least it's just gonna be a pickup they just had me drop off my empty so i can go park outside it'll be easier to park outside and wait um so yeah oh man i mean it's all right the two extra hours that we have on the clock from the 14 is what i'm gonna use basically so it's all good i'm not tripping i'm still gonna go home and shower though i'm gonna like i said it's going to laredo so i have to pass by san antonio anyways so i'm gonna go shower real quick well so i'm gonna go shower and uh but there it is. Drop it here and uh, go wait outside. All right. Well, as y'all can see, we still got the red light. It's 12, 1214. It's 1214 right now, 1215. They let us in. They're not done yet, but they let us in, backed up into the trailer and uh, just wait until we get the green light. He said that they were 80% done. So yeah, man, we're still waiting here. We're still waiting for them to finish, so hopefully they don't take too much longer and uh, we can get out of here because I'm trying to go shower. But, yep, I guess we're going to go back to laying down watching YouTube and uh, we'll see what time they finish. Wow, wow, wow. So, finally, it's about to be 2.30 in the afternoon. What was supposed to be done at 12 is finally done at 2. I got here at, I don't even know what time I think I it down here somewhere i got here at 10 17 and they barely finished so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just get out of here go get my paperwork all of that stuff and we're gonna go fuel up because i have a little bit less than, than uh i have a quarter left of uh diesel so i have to go fuel up and then after that we're gonna go home we're gonna spend the night there because I don't think we'll make it all the way to Laredo. Because I'm more than positive we're going to get traffic. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to make it all the way over there. So, I'm going to stay at home. And then, whenever I get my hours back, which should be, I don't know, maybe like 5 in the morning, 6, somewhere around there. Uh, we're going to head down to Laredo, deliver this, and pick up something else that we have um, already ready, I think. But, we'll see what happens. But for right now, let's get out of here. All right, guys, so as y'all can see, we stopped here to fuel up real quick because I had no fuel left. Then uh, I'm going to throw this way. All right, so we're just going to fuel up real quick and then uh, head on home. So I want to shower so bad. So, yep, now we wait gonna be a while thing was empty well it's the next morning we are here in laredo texas we came to drop off the trailer so i had to go to the terminal to get it inspected because this trailer is actually going to mexico so yeah i was kind of lost i don't know what to do uh, but we got it figured out so we're dropping it here i'm gonna go turn in the paperwork and uh go back to the terminal which is like two buildings that way I go get an empty so we can go get loaded and after that i think we're gonna go home because that load is not gonna be till the 11th i think it said or the 17th but of course i'm not gonna drop it off by then i'm gonna drop it off earlier it's just we're gonna go home for home time oh. so that means we're probably gonna get a little bit more home time this week so we'll see what we do but in the meantime let me unhook and get out of here. 
All right, we got our paperwork. The truck. All right, so now we submit all of this stuff and go get an empty trailer somewhere and go get loaded. So, whoo, man, it's hot. Hey guys, so I got here to the place where I'm gonna load up. As y'all can see, it's freaking tiny as heck. Um, so, and of course, just my luck, I'm gonna, I got the freaking smallest little entrance or whatever that I have to back into. Uh, so it's gonna be fun. I don't think I'm gonna be able to record it, but I'll let y'all know how it goes. Oh man, wish me luck. All right, I, I, he helped me a little bit just to guide me, just to make sure I didn't hit the mailbox over here. But we ended up getting it on the first try. Oh man, my butt was sweating. But he's just opening the doors for me. I slid my tandems and uh, I'm gonna get backed up right here. Oh man, I'll show y'all how it looks from the outside right now. Woo, right, man. Guys, so they finished up. Um, honestly, I forgot to record on how, or to show y'all how the truck looked in there. But, I mean, y'all kind of saw how it looked, pretty much. I was, uh, I was too focused trying to eat. I, I, they actually loaded me pretty quick. I think it was like, I mean, I was waiting there to get a door and all of that for, a, for quite a bit. But the actual loading was pretty quick. I think it was like 30 minutes or so. So, yeah, not too bad. But we ended up getting loaded. Everything's good. Now we're gonna head out. So I thought I was gonna be able to go home after this. Uh, since this is going to Missouri, I thought I was gonna deliver it by like Tuesday before the weekends. Um, before the week ends for my paycheck. But they told me that um, they're gonna split the load in Dallas, so just to head to the Dallas terminal, and somebody else is gonna take it from there. And uh, I need to put in my truck in the shop for some service because my APU doesn't work. My heater works and everything, but not the AC. It works for like 10 minutes, and then it gives me like a little red triangle and it turns off and it doesn't work anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in the shop. Hopefully they're not gonna take too long. Hopefully they don't have a long wait. I don't think so. I've been to that terminal quite a bit and um, it's never really packed. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes hopefully, but we should be getting there today or tonight. I'm praying to God. Um, I was gonna stop home and take a shower, but I think I'll just take a shower there at the terminal. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get on the road. Well, let me finish my food real quick and uh, get on the road. I don't even have to go weigh myself. The load is weighing like 6,000 pounds, so. Easy, easy load. But, yes sir, I guess um, I'll see y'all guys in, um, I don't know, in a few hours. Alright guys, so Alright, so we couldn't resist We had to stop I don't know what it is But, man You have to stop right here Oh man, I can't see it, hold on, hold on Oh yeah, you already know Man, oh man I had to, actually I had to pull over Um, I took an exit And I just uh, pulled over right there Just to and look at the map There was going to be um, space for me to Come in here and uh, yeah, I mean, there's another truck right next to me. But man, I don't know what it is, guys. But I don't know. I don't think I've mentioned it, but your boy gonna be a dad again. Um, so I don't know. She, I mean, my wife's already pretty far along in the pregnancy. I don't know if it's uh, because of the pregnancy that I'm getting like a lot of cravings. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's if that's even a thing with guys like does it affect guys as well i don't know but i've been craving a lot of freaking um well lately i've been craving burgers i haven't been able to get one or i just haven't gotten around to getting one uh but i had to stop right now i, I just couldn't hold it no more and then especially with grilled jalapenos in it 
I don't know what it is. I never even liked jalapenos like that till now. Um, but man, anyways, guys, I'm about to dig in right now. I'll show you how it looks. But whoo, man, let's go. Let's 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 see. This is how it's looking. You know, I like my stuff pretty simple. Just uh, you can see just some cheese, meat, bacon, lettuce, and mayo. That's about it. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna add this. They actually read my mind. I just asked for regular ranch, but they gave me jalapeno ranch. I don't know. Maybe they knew I was craving jalapenos or something, but. Oh, man. Oh, and of course, a creamy pepper sauce. Can never go wrong with creamy pepper sauce. But anyways, guys, let me let me eat this thing up and uh, we'll get out of here. I still have about an hour to spare, so we should be all right. We should be all right. So that's good to eat. Well, my guys, as y'all can see, maybe y'all remember this place. It's um, the Petro here right before uh, Dallas, I think it is. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's right before. I mean, it's like 35 minutes, I think, from Dallas. But we are going to stay here well, again. We had time. Still, we had 36 minutes left on our clock, which uh, which we could have. We were like right like on the dot. So we were like 35 minutes away, and we had 36 minutes left or something like that. So I wasn't going to risk it with just one minute. Uh, because there's literally nowhere I can stay around there. If I don't make it to the terminal, I can't stay anywhere else um, But the terminal like around there in that area. So I wasn't gonna risk it I'm just gonna stay here for tonight and um, Call it a day tomorrow. I'm just gonna go drop off this um, Trailer and uh, put my truck in the shop so they can look at the APU and uh, Probably get back home. So yeah, I guess I think I'm just gonna end it here I think this video is gonna be pretty long. I think I hope but we're just gonna end it here guys um i'll be posting like what happens to the truck maybe i don't know honestly i don't know what it is exactly or how long it's gonna take but i think i'll post some updates on my instagram so if y'all don't follow me on instagram i'm gonna leave it down below like always so y'all go follow me there because um, i'm gonna start posting pretty much every day on what i'm doing um so yeah if uh oh, the shadow is not helping so yeah if you don't follow me on instagram leave it down below and y'all can go follow me. But anyways, guys, I think that's it for today. So I will see y'all guys in the next one. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Thank y'all for all the support, all the 3,300, I think it is, of y'all. So thank y'all so much. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.